my video and today I'm doing my it's only a little unboxing of some of the items that I got from the Valentine's range a lot of the items didn't interest me because I'm not really heavily into floral scents but I do like some of them um, and some of the products as well the way um, that they come didn't interest me either I just thought that would do my nothing or it would be a waste so I'll show you what I got and I also got a couple of things from selling sites as well, which I thought was quite apt because it does relate to the Valentine's Day range in a way, but I'll show you. And ironically, I'm still waiting for um, another box from my Boxing Day sale item. So this one arrived first. So I thought I'd get this video out there so you can see what's in the range. So the first item I got is called the Floating Island Bath Oil. And this is 100 grams and it's actually bigger than I thought. If I compare it, if you look at the size of my hand, so it is quite a big chunk. So I wonder if you could get two baths out of this. Um, it is very shimmery, it's very pretty, it's covered in pink shimmer. Um, and it's the Keep It Fluffy scent, and I have smelt that before um, in a perfume. I got it in the advent calendar last year, and I did like the scent, but unfortunately the perfume did give me a headache, but then... Lush perfumes are quite strong, so that doesn't surprise me. And I don't do well with most perfumes, but I do like this scent, so I thought I'd give this a go. Yeah, it's like a powdery, subtle floral scent. So I think it's a pretty scent, so I'm looking forward to using this one. And it's a cute designer with a little heart on the top as well. And this has got um, cocoa butter in, almond oil, Rose Absolute, Jasmine Absolute, Lemongrass Oil, Ylang Ylang Oil, Vanilla Absolute. So I think that's why I like it, because I like the vanilla and I like the lemongrass, so it's not overly floral. So yeah, I, I do like this. And then the next item I got is called the Passion Fruit Delight. And it's one of these um, body wash bars that they brought out at Christmas. They had a Yognog, they had a Snow Fairy. I wasn't a huge fan. I just, I just prefer the shower gels, to be honest, or a pot of body wash um, because I just find it easier to store. But curiosity killed the cats, as they say. I'm probably the cat, so I wanted to try this because I did like this scent. This is the Cyclops scent from Halloween. So if you got that bubble bar, this smells the same. So let's have a smell. This is a lovely scent. It's a really like a fruity tropical fruit scent but this would be lovely for summer and I thought what I could do is I could use this as like a hand wash in the kitchen or something so all you do with these is just you just snap off a little bit so as you can see it is quite squidgy so when you squidge it it keeps its shape and then you just snap a bit off I found the easiest way of using this was in my bath lily so take a bit off squidge it into the bath lily um because if you use it on its own I just tend to find I kept dropping it on the floor my boyfriend went nuts when he used the yok nok one he found it infuriating um so this is three pounds forty I'm just going to go through the scent notes in this but you've got um fresh passion fruit juice um, perfume, Buchu oil, which is like a blackcurrant scent, Litsia cubeba oil, Sweet Wild orange oil, almond oil, um, and then you've got some other ingredients. I'll link all these items in my description in case you want to look at them on the website. The next item I got, and I don't know if I'm going to keep it, um, this box is actually for me and my friend. So my friend's ordered a couple of bits. I'll show you what she ordered. Um, I ordered it because I get the free shipping so I've got the pass and she said to me that if I don't like this then she will have it off me because she likes everything lush and this is the strawberry crumble bubble rune this is £6.50 the design is really cute so it's like a strawberry and then it looks like it's got cream in the middle um, and then you crumble this up in the bath um, I'd probably get two baths out of this the reason I hesitated on buying this one is because I'm not sure if I'd like the scent because this is the same scent as You Shall Go to the Ball, which was that um, Cinderella coach that came out last Christmas. And I, I loved the design of that bath bomb, but I wasn't too keen on the scent. Um, so let's give this a smell. I know it sounds daft, but I actually think I prefer the scent of this than I did that coach, unless my, my um, nasal buds have changed, but I don't mind this so much. Um, and 
obviously with this as well you can control how much you put in the bath I found the other one a bit too strong so I what I think I will do is I will split this into two baths um, and I'm curious to see what it's like I've never tried a bubble room before as well so once again yeah the curiosity got to me so the ingredients on this are fair trade organic cocoa butter Sicilian lemon oil, Tonka Absolute, fresh strawberries, fair trade shea butter, um, and those are the main scent notes. So yeah, I, I don't actually mind the scent of this one so much, so um, I will see what that's like. I'll probably do a little demo on this as well. But yeah, what a, what a cute little design. The next item um, I bought after discussing it with my friend. I decided I wasn't interested in those love spheres. Um, I just think the spheres would do my nothing. And I don't like being dictated to of how much to use in one shower because with the Lush shower gels, they're such good value because they last a long time. Um, my tip to anybody getting those spheres would be to use as much as you want from a sphere and then empty the rest into an empty pot so you can use it later. Um, because it was £15, I think, for a packet. And I just, I just, I don't know. And it was also a gamble. I didn't know if I'd like the scent. So this is what I got instead. So I decided to get this little gift set. And my friend said to me that if I don't like it, she's going to buy it from me because she knows what love smells like and she likes it. And there's other gifts in here as well, which she also likes. And another one was a gamble. So I'll show you what's inside this gift set. Um, yeah, so I haven't smelt love before. So this will be my first impression. And this gift set is £20. And so this comes with a tub of dream cream body lotion, which I have tried before. It comes with a bottle of the shower gel. Um, and it comes with a tisty tosty bath bomb, which I haven't tried. And it's got cute packaging, so it's got little cherubs flying all over the clouds, all over it with their little bows and arrows. So let's open it up. I also like to open up these gift sets really carefully because they don't use much sellotape or anything. So you can actually use the wrapping paper again. So as you can see on the side here, they just tack it down on each side. So you can open it up and use it again. And this is all made from recycled materials as well. And that includes the tie that's made from plastic bottles. And then it has a little sticker underneath and it just tells you when it was made and when they expire. And it comes with a little poem inside from William Shakespeare. Um, and all my universe becomes perfection, but were you in my arms, dear love, the happiness would take my breath away. No thought could match that ecstasy, no song encompass it. No other world. If I should think of love, I'd think of you. Oh, that's actually quite sweet, isn't it? Okay, so the first item is the Tisty Tosty Bath Bomb. Now, this looks like full-on floral to me, but my friend said to me, she reckons I'm going to like this, but if I don't, she will have it. So let's give it a smell. Actually, she, I think she's right. I don't actually mind the scent of this. It's got sort of like a, a I don't know, a sweet floral side to it. So yeah, I would be curious to see what this one is like. This one normally is £4.50. But yeah, I actually don't mind that. So, so far so good. So it's just a shower gel now. I'm going to check that out next. I just prefer a bottle. I think what they should have done maybe is um, provided a 125 gram bottle of this and then some spheres as well in a packet. And then people could have left reviews and said what they prefer um, because I'm looking and I'm seeing that the spheres are not getting great reviews at the moment in general. I think a couple of people like them. I mean, I like the concept, but I just, yeah, give me a bottle any day that you can recycle. So let's give this a smell. So once again, my friend was right. I do actually like this. Um, it's, it's like a... You know there's floral in there, but there's also, it's quite fruity as well. So this is actually really nice. I'm actually quite impressed. I really didn't think I was going to like this and I thought this whole gift set was going to go to her. So on the description on the bottle, it says, Feel the love with lemongrass and sunny bergamot before heady lang lang or aids a sweet finish. 
And yeah, I obviously love lemongrass, I like bergamot, so that has really helped with this shower gel. But yeah, I'm impressed, I do like this. And then on the back of each bottle or potted product, it always tells you who made the product. So this was made by Scott, and it tells you the date he made it and the expiry date. And when you peel back the sticker, there's always a little saying, so let's see what it says. So on the back it says it's a four letter word. So yeah, one thing I'd love to know from you guys is what do you think of the spheres? Have you tried them? Um, and also, I don't understand why here in the UK we've been given the spheres as the only option to buy separately and the rest of the world get the bottles. I think they should have tried it. If they're going to do it, try it everywhere and get the response from everybody. So yeah, you guys across the, work, the rest of the world, you're lucky you don't have these spheres in my opinion. Um, but also, if you do get the spheres, um, then you do empty them out into a bottle. Yeah, let me know how much you get, how many meals do you get from the spheres. And then the last, last item in this gift box is the Dream Cream Body Lotion. And this is um, a, a top seller at Lush. This is a soothing chamomile lavender lotion and it's really good for people with sensitive skins or people with eczema or psoriasis, that sort of thing. And this is a 45 gram pot and I have used this before. I'm actually giving away a pot of this in my giveaway. So yes, I have a giveaway on at the moment for some Lush and Body Shop products. Um, you just have to answer a simple question, it's just a fun question, so I'll put the link to that video at the end of this one just in case you're interested in entering because um, the closing date is the 24th of January. So yeah, my friend was absolutely spot on, she said she thought I would like this gift set and she was absolutely right. So um, I've got a feeling she's going to um, want another, another one now because I know she wants to have a bottle of it rather than the sphere, so what I'll do is I'll order another one for her online. So yeah, I'd recommend this gift set, especially if you don't want the spheres. Okay, and then the next two items I got, um, I've just said that I'm not a huge fan of the delights. And instead of getting the Keep It Fluffy delight, I do like the scent, I found this online instead. So I found this for, I think it was five pounds or something like that. So it's a Keep It Fluffy shower gel. And I found this with another item which I think is Valentine's Day related, so I'm really glad I found this because I just, I'm just not a huge fan of the Delight bars. And once again, this is like the, the bath oil, so this is a very light um, powdery floral scent. And the back of this one it says, Hooray for Hollywood. So yes, you cannot buy this one online on the Lush website, but have a look at selling sites. I think, I, I can't remember now, I either got this on Vinted or eBay. Those are the sites I tend to use the most. And um, I got it as a bundle, so I'll show you the other item I got it with. See, is this not Valentine's Day related or not? It comes in a heart shape and yeah, the two came together. So obviously someone was selling it due to Valentine's. And this is a body scrub, and I think this came out in one of the kitchen boxes. Um, it's before I did the kitchen boxes, but it's a really cute heart design with two cherries on the top. And let's give it a smell. This smells of cherryish, which is the Happy Holidays um, or Merry Christmas shower gel, and that is chocolate cherry scented. So I thought, yeah, let's let's get this little bundle. And once again, I think this was only like three, four pounds. So with, and that's including postage. So I always tend to buy stuff um, from selling sites in bundles to offset the fees and the postage. So yeah, so I like my little alternative Valentine's Day items. Now my friend also wanted two other items. This is nothing to do with Valentine's Day. So this is the Jasmine and Henna hair treatment. This is, um, I'm quite curious to see what this smells like because Jasmine is very hit and miss for me. I'm not a huge fan. So let's give this a smell. This is what it looks like inside. It's actually quite, quite runny. Whoa, yeah, the smell for me, that would be headache inducing. Just one sniff and I can feel my headache starting to brew. So yeah, this, this would be no good for me, but she loves it. She's got dark brown hair and she says it gives her um, a lovely finish on her hair, makes it shiny. So this is um, an item that she has requested. And on the pot it says it's ideal for brunettes and redheads and it's full of different oils in here and it's got some red henna in there as well. 
And then the other item she really wanted, and this is also one of my all-time favourites, this is the Avo Bath Bath Bomb. And this is, um, I think this is one of the best bath bombs that Lush do. It's so moisturising. It smells like sherbet lemons to me. And this one is £4, so it is one of the cheaper bath bombs. And yeah, it's definitely up there as one of my favourites. I'll probably do a top 10 bath bomb um, video soon. And yeah, she, she wanted this one. I've got lots of Christmas stuff to get through, so I will be using those first. But yeah, this is a lovely bath bomb if you're new to Lush. That is everything that I got from my little haul, my little Valentine's haul. I do have a candle video coming up soon, and I saw this beautiful candle. This is actually from um, Marks and Spencer, so if you're interested in seeing some light up candles, which is what this does, then don't forget to look out for my following videos. And as soon as my other item arrives from the Boxing Day sale, the Boxing Day video will be going up too. Um, but thank you very much for watching this video. Let me know what you're getting from the Valentine's Day range, which items you like. And I will catch you on the next video. Thanks for watching.